Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. It's open conversation for whatever they want to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we're talking about. This week we're using Joe DeVive's Tarot and Paulina Tarot. We're also doing the Big Mama Message deck. I've already pre-shuffled both sides, put our energy on it, so you don't have to sit through that one. Guys, y'all know this reading is, and all my readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively know and sense about your person. If that's not happening, then check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can see uh, if I picked up the energy there. Let's see whose energy is the strongest this week for my Pisces. Who's coming forward? What do they want to talk about? It's my Pisces. Pisces. Oh, good. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Ooh, I like that. The visionary. Oh, visionary. Scorpio. Hmm, emotionally mature. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Emotionally mature. It's my Pisces, that person. Here we go. Oh, we've got the sun card. Ooh, happiness. Clarity in revealing things that are revealed to us. Being authentic, honest, and truthful. Nine of coins, freedom, independence, confidence. I'm hearing confidence. Confidence on that one. Feeling very confident about something else. Four of Wands. Ooh, I love this. Ooh. That's about our stable foundations. Y'all know that brings in the 1111 for me. It brings uh, honor, respect. We've hit a milestone, something to celebrate in our connection. This person is feeling very confident. Even though we get freedom, independence on the Nine of Pentacles, confidence is what keeps coming through. They're feeling really confident. Uh, where you're headed in the connection. They feel like things are clear. <laughs> that there's no mind games and stuff being played. I oh, don't and, and And we hit a milestone. They're wanting to move forward in the connection. The connection feels like, you know, we've got each other's back. We're creating a stable foundation. Also incorporates a 401, incorporates your tribe that's around you, that's supportive of you. Like, you know, your friends, family, stuff like that. I mean, it's good energy. Hmm. Let's see what they, well, guys, like, what can you say? Reading should be over. <laughs> they, they, they want to marry you? <laughs> yes. Have a family together? They feel really confident with it, and they feel like, you're honest and authentic with each other. <laughs> Pisces. Let's see if they want to say anything else. Is, mm, is there any shadow? Let's see. Got a page of swords. Uh-oh. There is a subconscious. That's a messenger. Mm -hmm. Either they're wanting to give you a message or it's a subconscious message. Ace of Cups. My, oh, my cup overfloweth with blessings. Love. Love is in the air. Manifesting. The Magician card. Oh, introspection. They have went through a period of introspection of finding their inner light. Knowing, you know, for sure what they want. Hmm. It's some Virgo energy Pisces right there. Oh. What else? The Emperor. They damn well know what they want. They really do. With with that uh, hermit, like I said, they have went through some deep thoughts and considerations uh, about your connection. And like I said, they've come up with, <laughs> my cup is overflowing. This is what I want. I know for sure. They're feeling really confident. Like you're not, there's no mind games going on between, and manipulations going on between the two of you. It's just like you're clicking together. But this person has got a plan. They want they want to move into the future. That emperor. They're also with that divine masculine Aries energy. You know, it puts them into that protect, protective mode. Protect what it is that you're wanting to uh, create together and manifest together. So, dang, <laughs> Pisces. It's a good reading, guys. There's not much going on. 
your person just coming forward. Well, maybe all they wanted to say was my cup. You you overflow my cup with blessings. Mm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, what, guys, I'm thrown. It, this is, you know, most of the time we get cray-cray stuff coming out. And nothing in this one other than just love. I feel good. I feel good in this connection. Got a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. They don't really have a shadow other than they let us know that, you know, they've really contemplated and really thought deep and hard on your connection. And they, they come up with, I love you, you love me. Ooh. Let's get some messages. This might be a short reading. Let's find out. Let's come in on the sun card. Ooh. I want to tell you how I feel. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all they wanted to say. You're my blessing. You bring the heaven to my life. Yes. I want to tell you how I feel. What else? Desperate. De Ooh, why are they desperate? Desperate to tell you how I feel. Desperate for you to hear me. I need to hear you say it. Do you want me? Oh. Let's come over to the Nine of Pentacles. The confidence. I've changed. Ooh, I've changed. Hmm, okay. So maybe before they didn't have all this confidence. Like I said, they did they did throw out that hermit of I did some introspection, really thought things through. I've been through so much, I don't know if I can start over again. But I've changed. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look strong. We've got another one standing here. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. Let's come in on that four of wands. Let's see what they're wanting to say on that one. Oh, it's more than sex. Yes, we've hit a milestone. This person is wanting to step up game with us, move to move our connection to a higher level of commitment. Healing. We've got healing. What else? You didn't do anything wrong. One more here. I don't care what other people think. I just want to be with you. I don't care what your friends think, my friends think. I don't care what other people think. Yes. Oh, I like that mentality. Let's rotate the message decks so I know which side to pull from next and go back to the tarot. Hmm. Don't care what other people think. Everybody's got an opinion. But your person doesn't care what their opinions are because they have their own. They have did some serious... Soul searching with their uh, Virgo Hermit energy, and they know what they want. They know where they're headed, what what they're wanting. A uh, four of coins coming in under the sun card. Hmm. Things may be a little tight. <laughs> this one, you know, you know, a four of coins or four of pentacles is about being possessive, tight gripped. You're afraid you're going to lose something, so you hold on to it really tight. But it's also about being a little more conservative <laughs> about things. You know, if it come up in a money reading, it would be telling you, save your money, don't don't spend a lot, don't do frivolous spending right now. What else? Queen of Coins. Oh, under that Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Nurturer. Oh, and that very much goes with the Nine of Pentacles energy because our... Uh, Capricorn Queen of Coins. I mean, she's really confident when it comes to taking care of things on a materialistic level. I mean, she's just that nurturer that knows how to handle everything and take care of stuff for other people. What else? Hermit. Hermit. Oh. What did I just hear? What are we what are we hearing here? I don't I don't want to lose. Uh, the connection we have because it seems to be very healthy, balanced, and nurturing uh, from uh, their perspective. And th they've got an introspection. They, hmm, <laughs> were they misbehaving before? <laughs> Did we have issues before this change, This th them going through this hermit mode? 
Because it seems to be saying, I don't want, I don't want it to be over. I, I want to nurture this relationship. I want to move to the next level in this relationship. Hmm. Let's see what they want to say on that four pentacles. Because that, it's bringing in a little bit of shadow. Queen of cups. Cancer energy. You're the queen that has captivated and stole my heart. King of cups. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can we get any clearer than that, guys? That's a perfect match. Our cancer and Scorpio. King and queen of water. Then we have the hangman. The higher perspective. Seeing things from a higher perspective. Uh -huh. But they also may be feeling a tad bit stuck because, like I said, we were picking up a little bit of anxiety here off that four of coins. And that hangman will also bring in a little bit of anxiety. King of Cups. What did we get? No, we got Knight of Cups. Guys, Pisces. Pisces. Mm. Y'all know I need my granny glasses. That's you, Pisces. This is our divine, mascu you know, masculine, feminine, perfect connection. We got some major, major uh, heart connection going on here on an emotional level. There's some deep love between us. Higher perspective. It may have took this person a minute to step into that. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Because we got, we got the... Yeah. The queen, the knight, and the king. Mm -hmm. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Ooh, seeing, seeing things from a higher perspective. Wow. Is that knight just representing y'all, though? Let's talk about the knight. Because sometimes that knight of cups, you know, is vulnerable, putting their heart out on their sleeve. Four of Swords, they took a rest and recuperation uh, get to get clarity about things. That would be their hermit mode <clears throat> on that Four of Swords. They probably went quiet for a little while to get straight in their head and their heart uh, so they could express what their true desires are. Before you can actually express your true desires and your thoughts, you have to know what they are. That's what the Four of Swords uh, brings in is privacy, healing, clarity, quiet your mind, recovery kind of mode. We've got a Five of Coins. That's uh, anxiety. Some anxiety, but lack mentality, holding yourself back because sometimes we will hold ourselves back from opportunities that are there. This person has been holding back before they did this introspection. Three of Coins. Ow! Oh, three of Coins. I love that partnership. Is incorporates partnership, uh, teamwork, working together, but the blueprint to manifest something together and getting recognition. Getting recognition. Mm. Tell me about the getting recognition. Six of Cups. Ooh. Six of Cups card of uh, past nostalgia, youthful uh, energy, and Hierophant Taurus energy. Now, this person is uh, what they want to be recognized for is that they um where they might not have been so stable, reliable in the past, or you know, the confidence it built faith in us that they were totally committed to the connection. They are now wanting to get recognition for it. They're ready to step into that. This person knows what they want now. They might not have before, and we might not be able to believe them right now because of the fact they keep, you know, they're pulling in that I've, I've done serious um, soul searching on this to, to know what I want. And, and they went into that quiet, private mode, and that might have threw us off a little bit thinking, well, they're, they're walking away or something like that when they really weren't. They were just trying to get clear about the future, what they what they are wanting out of this connection, what they want is that four, that eleven eleven up here, that four of wands. Ooh, hold the energy on that. Let's get the messages. Let's come in on that four coins, cause that, like I said, there's a little bit of an anxiety feeling um, and worry because they would have a tight grip, not wanting to let go or lose something. We're getting two cards. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. I'm very passionate about this now. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sick of arguing all the time. Please try to understand how I feel. Got another one standing. I regret sabotaging our connection. Yeah, they may have in the past. Um, I don't think it was an intentional thing on their part. I think it was just them being unsure on their part of what they, they wanted for their future. Mm -hmm. Let's get them to talk on that queen of coins because they're willing to, to work on what and take the time, energy, invest time and energy into this connection now to move it into a deeper level. You're unforgettable. Do you even want me anymore? Oh, I think. <laughs> okay, what else? I'm battling my inner demons. I'm hearing I was battling my inner demons like they're trying to tell us why um, they've been behaving the way they have. I can't imagine life without you. I'm hearing I don't want to even try to imagine it without you. Over here on the Hermit, burning with passion. They definitely want to get across because all this passion, burning fire, that's motivation to get something going, moving, taking action. I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. Mm. Or why you shouldn't want me is how, how I'm hearing it. Not that they don't, that they shouldn't want you. is more of they give you too many reasons of why you shouldn't want, want them. We've got confirmation for someone, may not be for all of us. We've got January, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. The month of January. Is there anything in us? Ooh, we're going, really? We're not taking all that, y'all. Let's let them talk one at a time. One card. Okay. <laughs> Your sex is unforgettable. But guys, remember, they said it's more than that. <laughs> but that factors in too. Mm -hmm. You showed me your true colors. Ooh, in a good way. Because sometimes, you know, I'll take that as you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You showed your true self. It's not in a good light, but... Uh, this time, it's like, no, it's in a good light. You showed your true colors. Mm -hmm, like rainbow colors. Like magical. I have a true feelings for you. Okay, mm. let's push up. Let's get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final closing messages from... It's for my Pisces. That person. That person. We're going to get the roses, but there's still energy in the box. Where's it at? Ow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. All things intuitive is the hidden truth. Let's, let's go with this one first. We'll close off with the roses. Pisces person, whatever you're wanting to say with this one. Let's get that again. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces person. Great message. What are you wanting to say? Ooh, throwing out half the deck. Mm -hmm. I see your person wanting to talk a lot. <laughs> they want your attention. Try it again. I see. Oh, there we go. Perfect. We need to let each other go. I'm hearing it with a question mark. It's in question form. Do we need to let each other go? My life is not as together as it seems. I'm not as together as I seem, is what I'm hearing. I knew exactly what I was doing. I wonder if you are happy without me. Or if you would be happier without me. I don't react when people mention you. <clears throat> Ooh, they're getting emotional, emotional on this one, guys. Uh, the reaction that they're trying not to react to, because... I always take this when I don't react is they're trying not to react. Your person gets like emotional, like teary, teary eyed. <laughs> yeah. And it's obvious to people. I know it was a distraction from your pain. What else? I'm so attracted to you. 
so many things remind me of you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I want to be more than friends. I can't just be your friend. I look for you everywhere. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's switch off to our roses and let them close off. It's for my Pisces. My Pisces. Their person. I can't get you out of my head. Ooh, you give me butterflies. It's more than sex, y'all. <laughs> Just remember. But it, that is incredible to him. Yes, it is. I never thought I could feel this vulnerable and be okay with it. I'm here and be okay with being vulnerable, feeling this vulnerability. You are the love of my life. The moment I saw you, I knew I was going to fall in love with you. There is so much I want to say to you, but I always back out. Oh, I'm hearing that they're ready to quit backing out on it. I would give anything if I could just hold you. You're what I can't live without. I can't get enough of you. And our last one, guys. My love for you will never die. Oh, Pisces, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.